I'm with a cup of coffee that kisses you every morning. is that is coffee by tori kelly from her new album the best vocalist of all time totally recommend you should go oh look at the light getting better anyway so totally recommend you go listen to it i've actually not listened to the whole album but i definitely plan to because tori kelly is a jam and uh, welcome back to my channel um I hope you're subscribed. If you haven't, you might as well, you know, just hit that subscribe button. And let's get into the video. A lot of people give me so much crap for having high standards for relationships. Which, that's okay. Because the only reason I have high standards for relationships is because I actually made a whole video about standards. Are they good? Are they bad? Link will be down below to check that video. <laughs> I do have standards for my own life. And so it's, it doesn't make sense for me to not have standards for someone else. Like, I will have, I will definitely have standards for you. Because listen, Hanko, if Hunty has standards, Hanko gotta have standards. A lot of people confuse preferences and standards. So sometimes we're talking about standards and someone is, is gonna be like, you know what, they wanted this and this and this and got the total opposite. No, it's not that they got the total opposite of what their standards are. They got the opposite of what their preferences are. Because see, preferences are just, you know, taste buds. Like they're things that you're interested in. Standards are who you are. That's why you have them because if you can't have this part of me, then I don't see us working in the long run. So standards are about the future. Standards are about who I am. Standards, standards are things that when you hear people say like don't have standards that you don't particularly possess, that's what they mean. Like you can't ask someone to like be super fit and like be super healthy and then you want to live a very unhealthy lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like that's different because that's different because when you are living a very unhealthy lifestyle and they are living a very healthy lifestyle, unless your standard is healthy lifestyle because you want them to pull you up and that's something that they want to sign up for. But then that's why a lot of people, like even here on YouTube, like when you see most of fit gurus and when they talk about relationships, Milo is just living his best life and barking at people. Okay, y'all, listen. By the way, <laughs> there's no chance that Jess and Gabriel are watching this YouTube video, but in case there is, I just want you guys to know that we have the same dog name. Our dog is also called Milo, and he's barking right now. And until he shuts up, I can't continue filming. So thank you, Milo. There's our distraction. Wasting my life. See his life. See his life anyway i'm just gonna go into all this like just the differences between preference and standards i think i was talking about um healthy th so that's one of it the preference would be maybe i want a hot guy or um i want someone with abs or i want someone with muscles or whatever that's a preference but then the standard behind that would be i want someone who is conscious of his health and he actually takes care of it like you don't just eat rubbish like you know i can eat anything i want and like because in the long run when you get heart failure i'm gonna be here break heartbroken and um or just basic like day-to-day life you go you go be living with me so in the long run so i'm you might as well have um a healthy lifestyle so that's the standard but the preference or oh, haunted <laughs> liam hemsworth okay so another thing would be perhaps um i want someone who is cute i want someone who's six feet tall i want someone who's light skin i want someone who's um yellow skin i want someone who's brown i want someone who's black like whatever it is like most of these are just really someone describing physical attraction because you could have all the things in the world but for a relationship to work a romantic relationship to work of course that there's gonna be physical attraction which some people are attracted to any 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 for example for girls that girls are attracted to a person with any anything that walks in trousers for guys um anything that works in skirts like you know what i'm saying like some people just can look at that probably came out wrong but the point was 
I'm sorry, but the point was like there are people who are attracted to um anybody, and then there are people who you see patterns like they're one of my best friends. Let's just shade him like right here. One of my best friends only dates only only dates light skinned girls, and then I have my other friend who when you look at his profile. You can't tell if he has a pattern because they're all just um, all shapes and sizes, all colors and whatever. And then when we look at my profile, which is not really a profile because I haven't dated any of these people, but um, the ones that we quote feelings for, they all like, I can see the similarity in all of them. Six foot um, and on guns for, okay, wait, two of them were like five, seven. But like the rest is six foot and above. So, um, yeah, we see a pattern right here. And the standard behind that is just physical attraction. So, for some people, they just want to get married to a rich man and spend the rest of their life being a housewife. Which, I actually don't see anything wrong with that. Just saying. You know, you could be the concubine to the king of whatever land. Oh yeah, you could marry the king of king of Swazi, is it? Who has I don't know how many wives that could be your goal in life and that's okay I'm totally for that so with people like this they do not need physical attraction so depending on what your goal is that's what's going to determine your standards but some their standards is just you don't know, have 10 million in your bank account we are good physical attraction does not matter I don't know for each their own but if you are for you're like me and you're looking forward to a loving relationship for the rest of your life then definitely physical attraction is the thing which is why you'd hear people having preference. um preference rich standard financial stability now preference rich because <laughs> uncle are we gonna love won't feed us i'm sorry i know chick flicks make it look cute but <laughs> let me just tell you <laughs> water for three days will not make you feel very loved unless it does I don't know about you but at the same time like preference is rich because let's be honest i i'm i personally am i like being rich like i like being rich like i like being extra so like i'm not fo looking forward to live the rest of my life average that's what i'm saying but then for some people your preference might be i don't want a rich person i want an average person now call it trauma but what i have experienced or what i've observed in so many relationships which when a woman grows to that kind of financial stability so many guys um get very insecure i know very few men who have enough security should i say in themselves to date a woman that is more financially stable than them and still feel very secure in their skin so that's the standard financially aware financially stable i don't know how to put it but someone who's not in debt someone who's got proper money habits i'm not here to teach you finances we are here to make a relationship so if you don't have that go learn it and then come back mm. see, see see your girl this is what she said some would say age like some would never date someone who's younger than them some would never date someone who's like 10 years older than them but then the standards behind this i know a lot of girls my age who totally do not date i like actually i know a lot of my friends who are not dating someone who's our age group just because um most of the guys our age groups are still boys and like are still acting stupid acting a fool that making foolery of themselves making stupidity out of themselves i'm just gonna say that with a lot of passion because i hang out with a lot of boys and they say a lot of stupid stuff like um just from all angles of the world just just saying just gonna put it up there and then um the reality of it is it's not that they don't particularly want someone the same age as them as much as they want someone who's wiser they want someone who's more stable they want someone who's more mature so the goal is and i'm not even talking about people who are dating older men married men for their money because that's just wrong someone's married that's not your property stay away come out in jesus name and back to the point why am i so intense have you ever asked yourself what does she have for breakfast i mean there's coffee but it's not enough to make her this weird so um here's the issue why are we looking weird oh and hair see my lashes okay so um another thing would be preference uh foreigner um asian american 
American, British, Australian, Filipino, um, whatever, whatever you put, uh, Filipino American, Filipino Australian. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm very obsessed with Filipinos. Not that I date. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. But like, these are preferences, like Caucasian, Black, Brown, whatever. But the standard behind this would be something like um, open-mindedness. Okay, I'm going to talk from my perspective and having been born and raised in Tanzania or Africa. And I know a lot of girls who say Tanzania, Tanzania particularly, because I haven't lived in any other nation. So I know a lot of, not a lot, but just several ladies, women, girls that say I want to marry a foreigner. The standard behind this is just open-mindedness. And I have that too because the thing is, the way our culture has raised our men, there are certain things that if your mind is a little open, you're not going to be willing to bow down to. So some, most of our men have been raised to have a little, uh, and most of them actually very close-minded. They've been raised to think a woman should be this and this and this, a man should be this and this and this. Especially if your end goal is marriage, then it can be pretty hard to be married to someone who is treating you um a little less like i understand that you can be the head of the family but they have got it a little mixed up that they want to be the head of the family without having the love that will make it comfortable for the woman to actually look at you as the head of the family it's so much easier to submit to a person that respects you loves you honors you as a person and honors your dreams and uh honors your jobs a lot of men just expect a woman to be like to take care of their household like they wouldn't um when you have kids they don't uh, they don't take care of the kids like the, there are a lot of men who don't even change the diapers because they're like hey you expect me to change the diapers and i'm like hey jesu <laughs> whose spam was this <laughs> why, why are you thinking you can't change diapers like there's a lot of engraved um uh, mentality in our men that is for me wrong and i can't deal with especially with my personality so you find a lot of girls with a personality like mine saying ah i'd rather date a foreigner it's okay for me to submit but i have to submit to someone who will respect me and my dreams and my goals like you can't get mad at me because i'm trying to work you know what i'm saying you can't get mad at me because we are dividing house chores you know domestic chores are not just for the woman and domestic chores are for both so if i'm gonna do this you're gonna do this and together we're gonna make it work if you're we are both working i'm gonna work from this angle you're gonna work from this angle and then come together as a family and plan this and this so with most men in our society they're like okay so you will do this and this and this and i will do this and this no question no discussion and so that's how a lot of our marriages are either broken and people are just staying in, in it because they're afraid of divorce and a lot of them are now more divorces are starting to happen like there's just a lot of things that need to be fixed so yeah if you hear a person saying oh i'd rather date a foreigner oh there's a whole um romantic um our people <laughs> our men their definition like listen i don't know about other girls let this is gonna be hard to express but as much as money is good, and I know a lot of girls are now going to leave me from this point, but as much as money is good, and like, you know, a lot of girls would want to receive like a money transaction, like here's a hundred thousand, here's a one million, go do whatever, go buy this, go buy that. That's not romantic. Yeah, breathe it in. Yes. For me, I, I don't know about other girls, for me, like you can't just keep shoving money in my face and then that being the romantic thing about me, like you don't maybe listen to me, you don't take um, quality time with me. For me, I would rather, okay, so <clears throat> baby, here plane tickets, here, um, here's the hotel we're gonna stay at, I use this money to book us a trip to Zanzibar, you know, that's more romantic for me, uh, than like, yeah, take this money. But when you actually take the time to notice that these are the things that I love and you actually put the effort to it, that's more romantic to me. Which a lot of our men don't do that. Don't, don't do that. So, you know, Alex Wasabi hit me up. You know what's up? I want a rapper, a singer, an actor, um, YouTuber, whatever. Um... So for other people would be maybe, I want a lawyer. I want to date a doctor. I want to date... 
So these are preferences and you might find someone that no, not marrying that particular person. But the standard beneath this is that um, someone who respects your respects and recognizes or like sees the calling in your life or the purpose in your life, or the destiny in your life, and they be able to help you reach that goal, yeah? Because I believe everyone has a purpose. I believe in God. I believe that we're all created by God. And so if he created you, if you manage to exist, you are that one sperm, that one, man. You won. You are that one sperm, that one. So you're a winner by nature. And if you're a winner by nature, which means you have a purpose. So... To get someone who recognizes that purpose and is willing to help you go through it. Most of the times, people who will help you flourish in a particular field or flourish in that particular calling are people that are either from the same industry or an industry which is complementary to that. That's why you find a lawyer marrying a judge. You find doctors marrying marrying a doctor or a doctor marrying a teacher. Like There are um, careers that either complement each other or the same career so that it's more understanding for example most artists marry artists because the life of an artist is very different from the life of a corporate person so um most of the time even during the dating season you just mm, this is not gonna work because there is no understanding there's no compassion for what you're going through it's most of the time it's way easier when it's an artist and an artist so i could go on and on on things that are preferences um and things that are standards standards can be things like honesty like i want a person who will not lie to me standards can be something like um spiritual maturity so like preference would be if they went to the same church with me you know um but the standard would be actually someone who has the same spiritual convictions as me because i ain't out here trying to practice celibacy and you ain't out here trying to get some you know what i'm saying that would eventually we lead to breaking up i ain't out here trying to live a life of integrity and you out here like stealing money from where you work you know what i'm saying i ain't out here trying to you know just trying to live my best life and you out here trying to live your good life you know kind of kind of want to be a christian kind of don't want to be christian kind of um now back to the point yes yeah, so like I personally do not have that preference. I would prefer it to be someone from, I don't know, I couldn't meet a person at the gym, running, dancing, um, at a party. Like, I don't know, but I, I, I wouldn't want to meet someone from church. I don't know. That's just me. I'm so, <laughs> I know I'm weird, but just, like, that's not particularly a preference. Like, I have no, wait, on second thought, I don't think I would ever move from my church, so. Anyway, that's the point. You got the point. The point is there's standards and there's preferences. So you could find someone changing their preference or getting something that is opposite to their preference. But when it comes to standards, these are the things that I hold myself accountable to. That's why the things that you would want someone else to hold accountable to you too. Is that proper English or does that even make sense anyway? Uh, yeah, so with that said, please stop. So all my friends who keep thinking I will only date a person who has tattoos. Stop it. It's a preference. Tattoos, jewelry, piercings, like all those are preferences, people. But um, the standard is someone who's open-minded, depending on what you want. Maybe you're a little bit of an emotional person, so you would want someone who's really sensitive. Oh, another preference, guys who can cry. Am I the only one? I know I'm not the only one. I, I know who... I'm not the only one who actually, though this is a, um, guys who can cry. That's a preference. Like there's something really attractive. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a morbid person. I, there's something really attractive when guys cry. I just, I just think so. And the standard behind that is just a man who's secure enough in his masculinity. Okay. That's not always the case though. Yeah, because I've seen some people who are very, I've seen that some very, very insecure men, like people who have therapy issues in security but who can also really really cry so that's kind of anyway um all i'm trying to say is when people like me who are attracted to like people um who think it's um an attractive thing when a guy can cry the standard behind that is that 
I want a person who's securing his masculinity, that my femininity does not affect his masculinity. That me having the personality where I know what I want most of the times. And even when I don't, I sound like I do. But then for you to recognize that, no, no, she's not trying to act like she knows it all. She just, that's just how she presents matters. You know, people like me who are intense, aggressive, or some girls, as I said before, like some girls are a little bit more emotional and they're a little bit more sensitive and they don't usually voice out what they want. They, they would want someone who is willing to like take the time to find out what they want. You know, like, what do you really think about this? What do you really think about that? Are you sure about that? Um, I actually think that was wrong. Someone who can correct you, someone who can love on you, someone who can listen to you, someone who can take care of you. Because at the end of the day, human beings... Um, 99% of the human beings were not meant to spend life alone. That 1% is the people that just have no desire to be with anyone. Who are very few as far as I'm concerned. I think that 1% is the nuns and priests. Most of them anyway. So, yeah. That's it for this video. I hope um, I made sense. I hope this helped you. I hope you're entertained. Um, I personally enjoy talking a lot because that's what I do all day, every day. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on that little bell next to the subscribe button and so that you can be notified the next time I upload. And yeah, like this video, leave a comment, and I will see you in my next video. Ooh. Ooh.